Hello all you cats and kittens. Just kidding. Uh, we're going to get started here with a, uh, the long bone splinting station. Um, so for the long bone splinting station you're going to be asked to splint a long bone. So it'll be a lower leg injury like a tibia fibula fracture. Um, and so uh, every splinting station follows the same order. PPE, partner stabilize the injury, check CSMs, apply the splint, and then recheck CSMs. You'll notice this pattern also like with backboard and KED. PPE, partner holds C-spine, which is stabilizing the injury. We, in that case, we check uh, CSMs in all four extremities, and then we um, apply the splint, and then we recheck CSMs. So uh, starting this station now, I have my PPE on. I'm going to have my partner stabilize the leg. They will place their hand above and below the injury site. I will now uh, check CSMs just in the injured extremity. So I will feel for a pedal pulse. I will ask the patient to wiggle their toes. And which toe am I grabbing? Okay, I've checked CSMs. I will now apply the splint while moving the leg as little as possible. So I am going to elevate the leg to slide the splint underneath. I want to be sure that I'm securing the ankle and the uh, knee, since that is the joint above and below the injury. Got my splint applied. So uh, I'll feed this strap through to tighten the splint down. So once we get that splint nice and snug, we now want to come back and recheck CSMs on the limb. So I'll have to reach down in here, check for a pulse. You can feel a pulse. Can you wiggle your toes? And which toe am I grabbing? And that's the duration of the station.